Welcome. I'm Dr. J. Michael Bennett. I'm an orthopedic sports medicine specialist. I specialize in uh, injuries and pathologies of the shoulder, elbow, and knee. And welcome to the whiteboard series. Today we're going to talk about a very common uh, uh, problem, and uh, this is called cubital tunnel syndrome. And uh, this actually is similar to carpal tunnel syndrome, but it occurs in a different area of the body. It actually occurs up in the elbow region. Some people also call this your funny bone. Uh, if you happen to notice that you have recurrent numbness and tingling, particularly in the fourth and fifth digits and fingers here on the hand, that usually indicates that you may have one or two issues going on. It's definitely a nerve issue if you're having the tingling and burning sensation. So it could be a compression of the ulnar nerve. And there's a couple of areas where that nerve can get compressed. Sometimes it can get compressed in the wrist. Sometimes it can get compressed in the elbow. More commonly, it's in the elbow region. And that's what is, why it's called cubital tunnel syndrome because this is the cubital tunnel here. If you look at a diagram of the elbow, and this is a side view of the elbow, if you're looking at a, a bony anatomy here of the elbow, this is the outside of the elbow, the inside of the elbow. Here's the inside of the elbow. This big bone here is called the medial epicondyle. You can feel it on yourself here if you palpate it. Looking at it from a side view here like this, is going to look like this circle here. So that represents the medial epicondyle. Behind that epicondyle is the nerve, and that's the ulnar nerve that traverses behind this. Now the problem is that occasionally you get some uh, squeezing of this nerve behind this bone. And there's a band of tissue here behind that area, and, um, and that band of tissue can actually, over time, squeeze that nerve and keep the blood flow from getting to that nerve. And that nerve can actually become very irritated. Sometimes actually get, it can actually get scarred, and uh, it can create symptoms. Most of the time, taking an anti-inflammatory and making sure you don't bump that elbow, making sure you're not sitting with that elbow flexed for a long period of time, that most of the time will take care of it. That's what we call transient cubital tunnel syndrome, meaning that if you go to sleep at night and you sleep with your arms flexed and your wrists curled, then you get this numbness and tingling in the fourth and fifth fingers. All that means is that try sleeping with, remember try to sleep with your arms extended. Um, or, or during the day, make sure you're not sitting with your arms flexed for a long period of time on the telephone or hanging on the a window sill. Make sure you just take a break every now and then, move your elbow, make sure you straighten it out. That will help de de uh, decrease the pressure and the tension across that nerve, and most likely your symptoms will resolve on their own. Sometimes an anti-inflammatory could be helpful as well. But just make sure you check with your doctor first if you can take an over-the-counter anti-inflammatory. Now, if you do sleep, like, uh, like I mentioned before, with your elbows flexed and your wrists flexed, we call this a praying mantis position, um, there are some things that you can use if, uh, for instance, you can't seem to keep your elbows straight at night or you can't find a position that's comfortable. One thing that I do recommend for patients to try is to use some sort of night splint. Now, there's different types of splints out there. You can get a fancy splint that's made specially for you, which would actually be a hard splint that you strap behind your elbow to keep your elbow straight. What I find that works best for us and our patients here in our clinic is just a regular elbow pad that you can get over the counter at any sporting goods store. And you take the pad, and instead of putting the pad on the back of the elbow, you move it into the front of the elbow. With the pad in the front of the elbow, when you're sleeping at night, you're not going to be able to flex your wrist. You're not going to, or excuse me, your elbows and your wrists because this pad was going to make you keep it extended. Okay, so when you're asleep and you're unconscious, unconscious, you have no control over that, so automatically your elbow will extend. Uh, another thing that you can use is a stack of towels and use an ace wrap around it as well. That'll actually keep you from flexing your elbows as night as at night as well. Uh, I would recommend if you do have this transient ulnar nerve symptoms that, uh, that you try this first and uh, see if that takes care of the symptoms. Give it at least a week or so, see if it makes it any better. If it does not improve, then I'd probably recommend that you be evaluated by an orthopedic specialist to actually rule out uh, any chronic issues with this nerve. If you do not address these issues, these, these are not going to go away. Uh, if they don't go away by themselves over the first few weeks to month, uh, they're probably not going to go away on their own. So I would recommend you be evaluated by an orthopedic specialist. Uh, sometimes you can have other symptoms like wasting or muscle uh, fatigue and uh, atrophy of the hand, and you do not want to let that get out of control because these symptoms uh, can become irreversible if you ignore them. 
Uh, the muscle wasting can actually become irreversible and you'll, you'll first notice it uh, primarily in this first web space here as well as this little uh, padding area over here in the hand. That is primarily, that's actually innervated by the ulnar nerve here in the inside of the elbow. Now carpal tunnel, that addresses these three fingers and we're going to talk about that in another session here. But this is primarily about cubital tunnel syndrome. So if you have any questions, please feel free to call my office at 281-633-8600 or visit our web uh, website at uh, orthopedicsportsdoctor.com or jmichaelbennett.com. I appreciate you listening. Thank you.